First on five, a wrong way driver on the Bayway gets a DUI and narrowly misses drivers. The woman you see here behind me is Bria Edwards. And this isn't the first time someone has gone the wrong way on one of our area's busiest freeways. Gabby Easterwood joins us live tonight near the Bayway. She's on the causeway, and Gabby, there are signs in place to try to prevent something like this from happening. Yeah, Peter, they were put in place to exactly do just that, like prevent what happened on Sunday morning, those wrong way drivers. As you can see, they clearly say wrong way when you're going up and on or off ramp. And they were put in place after a tragedy in 2019. Seven and a half miles of the I 10 bridge with only one way on and off on either side once you're on. Oh! Leading to some tragic and near tragic situations over the years prior to this latest DUI. Back in January of 2019, it was a fiery scene in the eastbound lanes of the Bayway near the George Wallace Tunnel. A driver was reportedly driving east on the westbound lanes, swerving and speeding. The wrong way driver and an innocent woman he hit head on, 24 year old Catrielle Jones of Florida, were both killed on impact. Three years prior to that, our very own Chad Petrie narrowly missed a wrong way driver as well. Thankfully, he walked away safely. These reckless incidents leading to those wrong way signs being installed. Signs it appears Bria Edwards wasn't paying attention to. Daphne police say around 2 o'clock this morning, they found her driving in the left lane of I-10 westbound. According to the police report, the officer stopped Edwards where she turned into the median as if to turn around. She admitted to being, quote, kind of drunk. The officer smelled marijuana and found a bottle of vodka on the passenger seat. Edwards blew a .18 on the breathalyzer test. She's charged with driving with a suspended license, failure to display insurance, driving on the wrong side of the highway, careless driving, and a DUI. Now, Edwards' court date is set for Tuesday, December 14th in Daphne. Live in Baldwin County, Gabby Easterwood at WKRG News 5.